Hi, it's your face here, and in today's video, we're going to do a review on our cruise on MSC Virtuosa. So, I would like to start off with the embarkation process, and I'd like to say to MSC that they did an amazing job of making it a stress free experience because everybody the day before was like, what's really going to happen? Really nervous, yeah. because yeah, no one knew what it was going to be like. Obviously, they have been doing it in Italy since August with MSC Grandiosa, but they did an amazing job. But this is our mm -hmm. experience. We were in the yacht club, so it's kind of a little bit different to everyone else's so this is our experience uh so you went through the door and you have your documents you have to make sure everything is printed because they won't let you board if you have the wrong things and two copies of the vaccination no two copies of the test well yeah oh yeah sorry yeah. two copies of the negative test result. yes and if you're if you're not vaccinated yeah. and you have to have the right travel insurance and all yeah. your t cruise ticket printed off and yeah, it's helpful if you just have it sorted, ready, just to give them... Like a... your dad did in that yeah. bit. Like... Yeah, they had, lots of different... <laughs> they had everyone in different folders just to give them, say, it's all there. And then, then you go through to security. That's pretty straightforward, still exactly the same. And then you go to the test, which everyone was, like, dreading. Because if it's positive... I was bloody terrified. I if, was so scared. If, if it was positive, you're not going on your cruise. So we go through, and they say it's both of your nose. Yeah, you both, both sides of your nose, yeah. yeah. And you can do it... Your do it yourself or they do it for you and they um i did it myself you did it for you didn't yeah they? um because I, I kept going because i was like oh i'll just do it myself because they, they obviously watched you to make sure you do it correct and i was just like that and i was they're like further I'm like, okay I'm like further, further. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god it's like yeah. and then we have our while we wait for a test we got our own little area where you get snacks and um, food and yeah but there was a bit of miscommunication between the yacht club and the when your test came through, they were like, not sure when to... When like, the result came yeah, back. Yeah, and, and they were like, how should we go? And we were like, oh, this will test back. We did <laughs> not know. Yeah, so then they let us on. And then you first, you walk through onto the Galleria Virtuosa, which obviously your first on cruises, what do you think? Yeah, it was so pretty. And like the whole like ship was just like wow factor. Like it's also blingy and pretty. And I, I literally stepped in and I was like, whoa. Like, it was just so beautiful. Even for me, who's been on the It was, like, insane. Yeah, even for me, who's been on the ship before, like, I've been on Bellissima and um, Grandiosa, it still amazed me when you walk on to that. So, I don't know if it was just because we haven't been on a cruise before. And you, that's my there. reaction when I was like... Yeah. <laughs> well, and my parents, they've been on cruises before, but they've never been on this kind of ship. Yeah. And their it was their first time with MSC, wasn't yeah. it? And they, yeah, they were amazed by it. MSC designed their ships very well, and they look very well. Yeah. Glitzy and sparkly. That's, that's the word they use a lot. Sparkly. All the stairs. <laughs> like a magpie. Bing, bing, bing. Yeah, and then we got took up to the top sail lounge. And what was really cool to see when we first got on the ship was how excited the crew were to be back at work. Yeah, everyone was so friendly and was so Literally, you're walking down Galleria Virtuosa and literally everyone was like, good morning, welcome back. Mm -hmm. And we spoke to the um, person who was escorting us up to the top sail lounge and she was there like, Oh, we're so excited to see passengers back on board. <laughs> we uh, missed everyone. Yeah, and that was just so nice to see that the crew was actually excited to be back at work and be on the ship and actually see passengers back because it's yeah. been a long. Because think about it, we're not on holiday. We're just going on holiday. That this is their job, so yeah, they're probably so excited to be back, which obviously we are as well. And uh, we're going. The second thing is going to be the food. Now, I've heard obviously on the internet and. On that social media. slagging off the food. Not slagging off, but not say it's the standard of other cruise lines. I did. I said a few things on my Grandioso review about the main dining room. But on this cruise, on Virtuoso, I didn't have anything to complain about the food. Everything I had was really nice. The service yeah. in all the restaurants were really good. Yeah, especially in the York Club restaurant. Like the, we had like the same like member of staff like every night and he was just so like kind and then he remembered what drink I wanted so when I walked in I already had a glass of like rosé there and stuff and just small things like that I think are like so important it's like an experience and we, we also use it we also went to a few um speciality restaurants we were the first night we went to the Kato um tepiaki. yes and that was re that was really nice one of the best tepiakis I've had at sea it's not the food's the best it's just the way but I'm just going to say an example, I've been on the Royal Caribbean one where they cook everything at the same time and give it to you and you look at it and you're like... What, well, so like you, you you had the steak and the sushi? No, no, uh, Royal Caribbean don't do sushi, they just do... So it'd be like the lobster and the steak, they give it to you at the same time. Yeah. 
And it, Who has lobster with steak? It's called a surf and turf. It's quite popular. It's just oh. um, <laughs> they, um, Yeah, and it, you don't eat it because it just looks so much. But how they spread it, they gave you um, sushi and then a salad. And, and then, then they rice. Did, then, no, they did the fish and the rice. Oh, I, I, I wasn't saying the order. I was just yeah, saying the dishes. Order. They, <laughs> but they spread it out perfectly and yeah. the right amount because we ate it all didn't we yeah it was really good portion sizes like it was just like small like it didn't fill you up so they that that therefore you just always wanted like more food but yeah it was really yummy and it was like yeah it came at good times i'd say yeah. and obviously the cooking in front of you is it's a sh- it's always the same jokes in every cruise line but it's well it's my first time hearing them and i thought that it was quite funny yeah. <laughs> and but it's always a great experience at teppiaki we all, i also tried the sushi uh, bar and me and my dad went there, and the sushi was absolutely delicious. We literally oh, had, sushi gross. we ordered three like sharing platters, and we ate all of it. It was just so nice. And we also went to the Ola Taco and Cantina. I wanted to try the new restaurant that they were put on board, and that was, but the service that was probably the worst place we had the service. Yeah, the service was not up to scratch. I don't know if it was just that day, but that was just the one restaurant where. Yeah, it, yeah, it was quite poor. Yeah, and I can't, and I don't really like thing. to fault anything, but no, but that was the only place where it was a bit. I liked everywhere. the restaurant yeah, the itself, restaurant. like it was like so like unique, and it was like the the way it was designed, like de- the burritos were designed nice. was nice, and the food was yummy, yeah. But and the it, service was. They poor. also do ice cream tacos, which was interesting. Mm. They both we all did all the same thing, but the, our taco bases were different. Mine was like yeah. a waffle, and yours was like a. And like, it was like presented differently. Like I had lots of small ones, and you had one big one. And... Yeah, but. Um, yeah, that was a nice place. I, w- I would go back there again. You would, no, would I would. You? I would go back you there You would, again, yeah, so. same, yeah. But it, hopefully, it's, hopefully that was just an off day. It wasn't, like, terrible. No. Just when... It was just the worst place of everywhere else. Yeah, and he didn't seem as, like, happy to be working as the other members of staff did at other restaurants. Yeah. Uh, we, we didn't really eat at the buffet much. We only ate there for one lunch and a midnight snack, which I do like on MSC that they reopen it up for a midnight snack where you midnight can... Midnight pizza. Yeah, where you can go... Because other cruise lines close it really early and once if you're hungry after the theatre or after you've gone to the nightclub or something like that then you just want to go for a snack and they open it up and it's, I like that. Uh, also, I want to include that that robot Rob. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Rob. Bartender Rob. Uh, isn't That was cool. It's really cool. But well, it's very very pricey. I I think it was worth the money, but I don't think that you're hundred percent sure. Well, I ordered a non-alcoholic drink and it was ten pound, and you ordered the alcoholic and it was eighteen. 18. And so we and it was full up like yeah three, three quarters, quarters of the way. But we obviously we got the, we got the cup and you get a nice box. I'll put a picture of it somewhere on the screen, probably there. It cover my face. <laughs> um and um yeah it's it was a cool experience. Don't get me wrong. But what we paid how much? Twenty eight pound for two drinks. That was three that quarters full. Yeah, no, I, no. I didn't even drink all the money. It wasn't even that nice. I didn't really like the drink. I just liked the experience. Like, and I saw like on the Royal Caribbean ones that Rob is like. Well, I don't know if he's still called Rob, but the the robot is like really small. And it's got like a hand like this. Yeah. yeah. But this is actually like a fully live robot. And he has hearts and eyes. And it was really cute. I thought it was so cool. Yeah, so that is a cool experience to do once, but I would only do it once per And cruise. the amount of alcohol that he put in my drink. Cause the oh, f- yeah. It got, so basically, <laughs> Rob pressed, the, it was a whole... But he was we, being we, generous. We, we were the first cruise on board, so this was actually a full bottle of vodka. Yeah. And he twisted, he pressed, like, the butter, I don't know what it was, but he put like the like a, like a lever thing. Yeah, and he put the drink on there, and it kind of, and it was, it filled up a glass, and it moved away, but it didn't and hit the hinge. And we literally were going to, like, the... But Rock was pouring it out, and we're going to the guy. We're pointing to it, saying, it's tipping out. And he was like, like, Don't put your yeah, hands in the way! Don't put your hands in your wall. It, it will stop Rob. I'm like, we're like, yep, yeah, a the, whole bottle of alcohol. And he's like, Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> he's stopping. like, Stop pointing. And we're like, And then it, just, it, was, it was empty, so there was no point. But we yeah. were literally just trying to point, saying, and he was, he, he, just, I think it was like a language money, barrier, though. Yeah, money's going down the drain, and then he was just like, Don't point at Rob. No, he just didn't understand. Yeah. We're trying to point to something, and he was like, you don't put... Because sensors, if you go too near Rob, he'll just, like, stop. Yeah, like a safety thing. Yeah, and so then he just wasn't getting that. We were like, <laughs> it's quite literally, it's, like, a whole bottle of vodka went... <laughs> in my drink. No, we didn't, well, you didn't go in your drink, because it was just going down the drink. Oh, yeah, it was just dropping. <laughs> so we tried to turn up, but we tried. <laughs> and then we're going to do... Um, the next thing is the activities. Now, 
activities on MC Virtuous are some are free, like the water slides and the rope course, which the water slides were fun. Yeah. I'm not so sure on the bowl. I didn't like, yeah, I was going to say that, but I didn't like that. The that. bowl. It's it was a stead. It, well, you go around a bit and it just like stops. Then you got to walk. Who wants to go like, sit on a ride, like the ones go that... down, spin around, and then go stop? I mean, have to stand up and walk downstairs. Yeah, That's you, rubbish. They're like the ones where it just drops you into a pool of water or like, yeah, you just like go down the little slide. Yeah, and stuff. Yeah, and then um, and... they had the two races, which was built yeah, fun. Yeah, that was fun. Um, and then we had the ropes course. You like the ropes course? Yeah, but and you got really nice he shoes. stitched me up because he tried to go on the easy track and I had to go on the hard track. I, and I'm your not... dad was like, "That's mean." I was, I was gonna try and go for it for another video, but. I didn't have to. I had the chest one, and you have to have the rope. So if you want to do GoPro the ropes course, get a wrist one or a head one. They mm -hmm. won't let you do the chest one. So I will go back in August. Fun facts. And yeah, <laughs> I'll go back in August and I film it and put it on a video. But your dad did video it for us. Yeah, but you did it from the bottom, and well, I need to check that footage to see if it's <laughs> like using a video or something. But then there's the ones you have to pay for. Which is the amusement area. So that's the F1, the VR, bowling, Hollygate, bowling, cinema, and 4D cinema plus the arcade. But that's always you have to pay for. Oh yeah. Um and but the F1 is twelve pound to go for five minutes. I he was I, obsessed. I loved the F1. And the guy was like, "Oh, the best driver I ever seen. Please come back. You're yeah. the best." Yeah, he, he was like, <laughs> he, he was like wait, loving because like, when you went on, we went. We literally went on the first day, and then. You went first because we wanted to race together, but the front one of them was a bit, it wasn't working. Uh, Tux have been on a new ship. Um, Teeth and problems. <laughs> yeah, they, um, and you were really struggling. It was Monza, that first corner, if you know F1. I did not know what I was um, doing. And you literally just go straight on, and then like, you hit into a wall and you just go in like that, and he's trying to help you. I didn't want to help! And you literally just stuck. And then apparently, I was obviously in the car. I did the, I did the first corner in Monza, which is like, like that, and then he, he was like, oh, pro, and then just walked away. Yeah, and a lot of people were just like walking past and like clapping you. Lots of people, yeah, when I did like a thing, they were like, like, people were filming me. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know. I was like, professional. Yeah. Not that I'd let you be an actual F1 driver anyway, because that's too risky. But. I wouldn't be good enough either. But the, um, yeah, that was a fun experience. We did the bowling twice. Yeah, and the lady was speaking to the customer service desk person. It, bowl and about the price of the bowling and then when she found out the price she was like oh no cancel it i want a refund it, it is a bit pricey very expensive it was like what 30 pound for half an hour 55 for an hour yeah correct and if you if you don't finish a game in that half an hour like we were halfway yeah. we were like the eighth go and it just stopped and it just stopped the that was opening. a bit stingy yeah um but we did it twice we we bought the fun pass so that means if you spend we bought the 100 pound one so if you spend the 100 pound you get 140 so basically you like hundred pound, you get forty pound, hundred forty pound credit. Free money. Yeah. So I knew I was going to spend it with the F one. I did that so many times. Um, and we did yeah. bowling twice. Yeah. And um, didn't do the the cinema. We never did the cinema, and we never did the VR. No. Uh, we did the arcade a lot. Also, if uh, if an arcade machine does not give you like the grabby machines, if they don't give you like soft toys or like merchandise. Uh, you can use it with your fun pass, so you can use the fun pass in the arcade as well. Now we're going to move on to the room. Now we were in a yacht club deluxe suite, mm. and it was there was lots of storage. Very nice. You got the robes. You got the it, yeah. It was really slippers. nice. It was like a hotel. But it is a hotel. A hotel at sea. Yes. But basically, a cruise ship. Yeah. Well. Shut up. <laughs> okay. So yeah, it was really nice. Obviously, you get a bit. Your you're just your room is a bit more wider compared to normal balcony, and obviously you get all the services. Up, and the on top bed of it. was so comfortable. Yeah, they had this like m mat, like memory foam mat. Yeah, ma it's, it's a mattress topper. Yeah, and it was really comfy. Yeah, it was like the best nightstand I've ever had. Mm, it was so comfy, and there was a storage. Like, there, were, there was lots of hangers and stuff like that. Because I have a lot of dresses, so it was good. Had enough space for all of them. And now our overall opinion on our cruise on Virtuosa. So as a first-time cruiser, what did you think of MSC Virtuosa as a ship and MSC as a company? Well, I liked MSC as a company because we got to speak to the CEO, didn't we? Oh, yes, that was a funny... Yeah, was a and he was a really nice guy. So if you're watching this... <laughs> you're a nice guy 
<laughs> yeah, he was really friendly and talking about the ship and stuff, which was nice. And he was asking us about our like opinion on the ship and like how things were going, if anyone was following the procedures and stuff like that. Yeah. It was a really cool, like, nicely designed ship, and it made me want to go on more cruises, which is good as I'm dating ship based, so kind of have to like cruising, really. But <laughs> well, <yeah>. we liked <laughs> it so much, we've rebooked in August, yeah, for your birthday. Yes, we were August 14th, we're back on for a week, but yeah, the ship itself was just beautiful, and the service was like 10 out of 10. And everyone was, I, I was worried that it was going to be like, I don't know what I was really expecting, but I'm quite shy, so I didn't really want everyone like talking to me, yeah, because I, I said to uh, you that cruising can be a social holiday because I have travelled solo and I was a bit worried seeing if I went travelling solo again that like during the pandemic yeah like can you still like talk to people or are they strict saying you say you in your yeah. people you travel with and you can't but they you the chairs are spread out but it's not so spread out where you, you can't a table's all the way over there, and then the table's all no. There. Like if you're in your like social bubble, then it's fine. Like I didn't see anyone like walking around like asking like, "Are you with we, this person or we anything see, like we that?" We saw we well obviously we knew people who were cruising to, on there, yeah. and we could see them with other people. So like you yeah. have like your bubble, your safety bubble, and then you also have your social bubble on the ship where you can sit with other people if you want to. They're not hundred percent sure. If they if you like a hundred people got together, I think it would say something. Yeah, but I mean if you stayed with like. If you were like a family of four, or traveling with four like us, and we sat, we sat with someone else, like a couple, it's just like there'd be like a social bubble, like yeah. they wouldn't really say anything. And as long as you like follow the procedures, like wear your mask around the ship and stuff, and the, that wasn't even that bad really, because like we, obviously me and you wore a mask like all the time. But like when we were like walking around at like top deck and stuff, like at night time, we just took our masks off and stuff because yeah. there was no one around. Yeah, inside you have to wear it at all times, no matter what. Yeah. But if you're outside, if you're not anywhere near you or you can't social distance, but if you can't social distance, you have to wear it. If we were literally walking around a lot, and, and it was like, like just us. Yeah, you you can take it off and just have a nice stroll around yeah. without the mask on. And I, and like the only thing that did annoy me was when 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 we were in the hot tubs and we were like chilling out, and it's like supposed to be one household per the hot tub. But people kept coming into the hot tub when we were. Yeah, we never we had it where one other people, couple would sit in there. Yeah, well, um, I mean, not just from our experience, but I noticed yeah. that loads of people weren't following that that rule because yeah, they, that they were always busy. Yeah, um, but it was MSC did a good job at keeping like everyone mm. everyone wore their mask inside. Yeah, like, obviously the hot tub one might be a bit. But there's only so many hot tubs. Yeah. Um, and it's probably a lot quieter than they, than they normally are. Yeah. But there was only, what, I think I think there was only 800 and something people on there. Yeah, and it was so it was nice. Like, like I'm get, I'm re I suffer with, like, claustrophobia, so it was nice at how, like, quiet it was. Like, the, the only time it was really busy was when we were going to the mustard drill mm -hmm. and we were trying to find our assembly station. Yeah, so, yeah, the mustard drill is different. So, basically, you watch a, a video on your screen and there's a code at the end which you type in on your phone. And then you go to muster station and scan in. Where every, but they still do it all at the same time, so everyone's going to the same muster station at one point. But that's the only time it's ever got a bit busy, but that's, yeah, that's just a cruising thing. Yeah, and social distancing did not exist then, did it? Like, yeah. see, everyone was just in, like, the lobby bit, like, shh, and I was like, oh my god. But everyone had their masks on and stuff, though, so yeah. it was fine. Uh, the, but everyone, for, everyone was on there was following the rules that I didn't really see much where everyone, where no one was yeah. disobeying and a fun, the And a fun fact, though... The life jackets are no longer kept in the no. bedroom. I, I was I was saying to Celeste that the life jackets are kept in the room. In the wardrobe. So I was oh, looking yeah. for it. Yeah, I, I, I looked for it and I was like, yeah, they're going to be there. And I was like, they're not here. Because I wanted to like copy like the person on the screen. Yeah, she wanted to So be I knew there. how to like use the life jacket and stuff. Because I want to be, be prepared if there is like an emergency. Nothing's going to happen. Because but... I know and then nothing did happen, but I just exactly. wanted that like preparation in my head and um, I could not find my life jacket so I was really stressed out yeah uh, but, um, yeah they've not kept there anymore obviously because people can I think touch them like move gems on it I don't know what no it, it's probably because you're, you're 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 not going to spend that much time like in your room no so if you just go straight to your semi station rather than like try and faff around with your life jacket and stuff it makes more sense just to go there and pick it up there or but I also think MSC did a great job at because like I was worried about so many less people being because this ship is normally five and a half thousand people. About the because like when you walk around the ship, you find like atmospheres in the bars and stuff, and I was worried that it's just could be like 
three people in that bar and like two people in that bar. But I well, think... in, in, the, in the arcade it was. Oh yeah, whenever we went to the arcade at night, like anywhere near like, what, six o'clock and onwards, it would just be only us so, going there. Yeah. But when you went down to the, uh, uh, like the atrium and went down Virtuosa, Galleria Virtuosa, sorry, um, there was still quite an atmosphere. Where yeah, everyone... my life was quite good to be fair. Yeah. The pub was always packed. The yeah. Pub, every time I went past the pub, the pub was packed. And the workers were, like, really good, like, when they were, like, dancing on their little blocks and stuff. It was just, like, even though it was, like, a bit weird, like, the dancing was a bit strange. <laughs> their outfits were really cool. And it was just, a, like, a cool atmosphere, really. Oh, yeah. And it was we quite went, fun. Oh, we went to one show. Yeah. Um, mm. Obviously, with MSC, everyone knows the entertainment can be a bit it was strange. Because, obviously, they're an international cruise company where... We people normally they go from the Mediterranean and they you know, cater for lots of different languages. They stop off. People go on in Spain, Malta, Italy, France, so they can't have like a um, Broadway style show because they have to have different languages or mm. they can. Not many people. Not many people go because if they don't, don't speak English, it's always suitable or for everyone. It'd be Italian, and I go on it, and I won't be able to watch it. So. Obviously, they kept the style, even though they're going from the UK, they could have changed it, but they wanted to keep... What the, the CEO did say, he changed the ship and the menus only a little bit because he wanted people to see what MSC was about. So was, he and would have... And he football... likes the international side of it. Yeah. and Well, I like that, because when I was on Grandiosa, yeah. I was playing football with Italians, and it was really fun just to mingle with other cultures. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so he had, in the morning, he had the English breakfast and he was keeping people happy with like... Roast dinners and yeah, stuff. Yeah, if we didn't have all that, then obviously people may be like, oh, why is it all just... Med-? And then they also had half the menu, like Mediterranean. So people who wanted to act like they were, we were on holiday, but like go into like... And have their like usual, typical... Yeah. Like when you're on holiday, you ha- you go and, you go and experiment yeah. with the local cuisine. So he had an, that on there, so you could still like... Have some Mediterranean food, and because they had a Mediterranean night, didn't they? Yeah. So seafood night. Yeah. So MSC did. Which was. They catered for the UK market, and they also kept what makes MSC MSC. So I like that that they were. But I didn't like the show though. I mean, it was good. Like the dancing. It was insane. That was like the boy and the girl that were dancing together. Their chemistry was insane, and their timing was like immaculate. Like that was that I was like. (laughs) <laughs> and the way that they, they flipped each other around was just crazy but yeah it was just like singing dancing singing dancing and then yeah, there's this they can't this, I know obviously but yeah. the storyline just made no sense to me so no, I, I personally wouldn't want to go back and see another one but it was definitely a good thing to like experience yeah just to see what their shows were like exactly so you got you got to see at least one yeah I've done it now <laughs> but yeah MSC at Virtuoso was an amazing ship that we even got matching t-shirts in the shop <laughs> But it was... Which spent a lot of money in that shop. Oh, I love the logo shops at MSC. Everything, I, have, I have everything MSC. When I go on board, I've got the Monopoly, I've got each model. Top Trumps. Oh, yeah, they're Top Trumps. I've got a Teddy. Oh, I wanted the Top Trumps to be um, the ships, but they were places, and I was a bit disappointed about that. But I've got the cards as well. I've got uh, the uh, lanyard. I've got hats. I've got the Blissima Grandiosa. The bag. Did I get a bag? Well, no, it was a free gift. But in the room, member. Oh, yeah, yeah. The MSC okay. bag. Yeah, everyone got that. Um, yeah, because we actually bought a model and then we got our nice um, certificates. And because we're in the Yacht Club, we didn't know about it. They give us a free model, so now we've got two models. So don't buy one if we're in the Yacht Club. Well, no, they do now because the main voyages are over. Ah. Uh, yes. So, apologies. but... I'm still new. Yes. But we've booked again, well, we enjoyed the ship so much, we booked again for August. So. And we lived in the hot tubs. That was definitely the highlight. Yeah. The highlight of my cruise was the hot tubs. We did the top cell 19, uh, top, no, top cell, that's top cell, that's top 19. Yeah, that's it. So, Which is exclusive to Aurora. Aurora guests. I never know if I pronounce that one. Aurora. 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 <laughs> well, we don't, I, 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 well, every time I was doing my ship tour, I was like, am I saying this right? I don't know. So I just went Aurora. Aurora. I think. Don't yeah. judge me, people. So. It was well, really nice. It was like curved and like, yeah, it was just nice. So we had an amazing time at MSC Virtue. So yes. I would definitely recommend, as, as it's in the UK, if you have the chance, go and go on try MSC Virtue. Because these ships don't normally go from the UK. They always go from Genoa. Because even, it was supposed to be going from Germany. 
and going around Northern Europe. So as it is in the UK, I, I, well, we got go and it. witness the beautiful Saswoski crystal staircase. Yes, but yeah, as it's, it's in the UK, magnet. I would suggest just go and try it. It's a different. It's not a company that normally goes from the UK. Obviously, they're building a terminal, so hopefully they do start bringing some of their bigger ships here, because especially Magnifica. But I, when I heard Virtuoso was coming, I literally, we, we booked on the he first. He was so excited. We, you, so. Yeah, we, we booked on the first cruise because I've been on Bidesima, I've been on Grandiosa and I loved it. So I wanted to get back on Virtuosa. Yeah. So if it's in the UK and you have the chance, go and do but it. But for a first cruise, I can't fault it. It was amazing. It was so fun. Mm. And it's definitely made me want to cruise again. Yes, M- MSC did an amazing job. Mm. To it was just keep, so pretty. Keeping us all safe and doing it in a way that you could still have fun. Yeah, but the amount of times that the guy was like, hi, it's your cruise director here, just letting you know about the following health and safety protocols. And I was like, yeah, shut up now. <laughs> said about 100 times a day. <laughs> so, yeah, our, our review was, it's it was an amazing ship. Mm. MSC did a great job. Uh, the crew were really happy. Yeah. Apart from a few things being a bit pricey, I wouldn't... Yeah, well, they have lost so much money like during the pandemic that they have to try and... Make up their profits somehow. Yeah. So, like, yeah, Rob, obviously, it's, a, they, it's an experience. They know that people want to try it, so why not put a charge on it? There's adorable hot eyes. So, it was an amazing ship, and would recommend going on it, which we're back on August 14th, and I cannot wait. It's like <laughs> 74 days or something like that, more than counting. Not trying. <laughs> yeah, so... That's our review. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed it, guys. We're going to do a Yacht Club review as well. That'll be coming out in a few days as well. And, yeah, that's the video. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you. It's been Shipface. Please like and subscribe. And we will see you in the next video.